Hey, what's up everyone? Johnny the Geek here and uh, today I just wanted to show everybody uh, one of the systems that I built a few years ago. Um, I built this computer for a friend of mine and uh, I gave it off to him and uh, he's been using it for a while now and so I just got it back because uh, it was time for me to do a reinstall of uh, you know Windows. I had Windows Vista on there and now it's time to do some upgrading to uh, Windows 7 so uh, when I cracked it open uh, I found a few uh, dust particles so I just wanted to show you guys uh, some of the stuff that I found it's pretty interesting and uh, here goes all right so here we have a little bit of spider webs spider webs there some more spider webs and uh, let's see what else. Some dust balls and whatnot. Uh, suffice it to say, regardless of all of these spider webs, this computer still runs, runs good. And uh, that just goes to show that when you build a computer uh, right and you build it good, that uh, it will last you a long time, even though there's a lot of dust particles everywhere so uh, I'm just going to talk a little bit about uh, some of the hardware uh, that's in here if I can remember it has been a few years since I've seen this computer anyways uh, the motherboard is a ECS brand not the greatest brand but I think I got it in a deal at Fry's when they had a lot of ECS boards so it's the uh, ECS MCP 68M M2 with a GeForce 750M chipset, so I'm assuming that it has a uh, AMD processor in it. I don't remember what processor exactly, but I'm assuming that it's a uh, Athlon, given that it's a, uh, a chipset like the uh, GeForce line series chipsets, and uh, especially because uh, the uh, the uh, front side bus speed is the Hyper Transport 2000, 2000 megahertz. So uh, that that just a clear indication that it's a, an actual AMD system. All right, so uh, thermal take cooler there, and uh, over to the RAM. It's actually a. Uh, let me just focus. Oh, oh that's a spider web. Uh, the RAM is a OC, OCZ series gold series memory. I believe it is a DDR2, or it could be DDR. I'm assuming that it's about two gigs with this some quality RAM right there, right? And uh, two gigs of RAM is plenty enough RAM for uh, Windows 7 32-bit. And onto the graphics card. This graphics card at the time was a pretty beefy graphics card. It is a uh, ATI Radeon Sapphire uh, 1650 Pro. So it's a graphics card. Uh, with two DVI ports and a S video port, they did not have HDMI out back then <laughs> yet. Um, so this would be equivalent to say like a 5000 series, like a uh, 5670 card, sort of, uh, for its time. If I compare, it doesn't run like it obviously, but comparatively to what the cards are out now. Then you, we've got a Air Link. Uh, 54G wireless, 802.11, 54G wireless here, right, by Airlink. It's uh, some cheap fries brand, but hey, it still works. And then over onto the hard drive, we have a uh, uh, SATA hard drive. I believe it's either a 160 or a 250. I know it's not an 80, but it's, uh, it's one of those, it's a SATA. I might upgrade that to a 500 gig. I got an extra 500 gig that I'll, that's a spare, and I'll throw that in there for 500 gig, which is pretty good, All right? And then we have two optical drives still on uh, uh, ATA or parallel ATA, which is fine. Uh, don't need to burn super fast. So there's a DVD drive, right? Uh, where it's just a DVD drive, I believe. Maybe a CD burner as well. And then there's a DVD burner by Sony. 
and the DVD drive is an LG, right? And then the power supply is a 430 watt True Power Antec, which is a uh, pretty good quality. Antec True Power 430 watt, which is enough, more than enough, for this system. Actually, it's even good enough uh, power supply to power most systems today, most basic mainstream systems today. Uh, plenty of USB ports, whatnot. So uh, yeah, all in all, it's a pretty good system. Still, uh, um, the best way I like to do go about cleaning this, basically, is uh, uh, compressed air in a can is just going to be a waste uh, because it's just far too much uh, dirt and dust in here. Uh, what I usually like to do is that I have this vacuum that's also a blower. It's a little Black & Decker. I don't have it here with me, but it's at uh, it's at the labs. It's a little Black & Decker vacuum that I bought for like 25 bucks at Walmart. And uh, um, it has a blower on it. And what I like to do is just blow out the dust, go outside, plug it in, and uh, blow out the dust. But uh, with this amount of dust, it's actually better if you use the vacuum part first and try to vacuum the, as much as you can um, and uh, try to get around, uh, be careful not to hit anything with the vacuum, um, and especially the uh, capacitors or anything like that. Don't just start jamming the hose in there and everything, but just try to vacuum as much as you can first because uh, if you just start blowing, you might end up blowing stuff to get deeper into into sensitive electronics and stuff like that, especially in the power supply. So try to just uh, vacuum first and then uh, blow it out um, just to uh, get everything out of the way there, uh, especially when it comes to laptops. Uh, you really want to uh, vacuum rather than blow. And uh, definitely going to be installing uh, Windows 7 on there. Uh, most likely Windows 7 32-bit because uh, of the RAM situation um, it has less than 4 gigs if I could fit 4 gigs in there which I think I do have 4 gigs uh, if it's DDR2 I doubt if it's DDR2 I think it just might be DDR um, but if it's DDR2 I could throw in 4 gigs on there and then if it's gonna be 4 gigs I will probably throw in uh, Windows 7 64 bit to access all 4 gigs uh, but that's also if there's drivers, 64-bit drivers for that motherboard, uh, which there might be. I don't know. Who knows? But um, I'm just uh, definitely going to have to look that up, do my research on it. Um, but yeah, all in all, that just goes to show that if you build a good system, it'll last and you can upgrade and it'll still run. It'll still be good. I might actually throw in another video card in there too, uh, like a 5670 maybe. I don't know. Uh, and that'll run a lot of the games at a playable frame rate. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. John and Geek out. Peace. That's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. John and Geek out. Peace. How do I turn this thing off? Oh.